Hello, hello, hello. I'm Princess Sebi. Welcome back to more Armored Core 6. We, uh... We, like, just crossed the ocean. <laughs> Also, I checked out the quality of the videos on YouTube. They're looking pretty good. So I think the thing might be set up good. Hopefully. All right. Arena. Oh yeah, we gotta do the next level of uh of these guys. How are my guns set up? Oh, in the part shop. Any parts? There probably was. This thing. Oh, they don't have it. Shoot 16. Shoot a bunch of bullets at once. But divide that 500 by 13, apparently. He's <laughs> shooting all those bullets at once. Not gonna be too much. 6824. Oh that other one I had ran out of bullets so fast. Dumb baton, get out of here. What are those little guns? These guys are like meant for shields. It's like a boss with like a shield that you kinda needed this for. But then the giant bazooka ended up kinda working a little bit better. Or like a bazooka each hand. One bazooka breaks a shield, one bazooka fucking hits him on his down. <laughs> yeah, this does double damage. Or the other one did more than double damage, actually. That one was pretty good for breaking shields. It is a straight upgrade from this, though, I would say. Alright, but we don't know if anyone's gonna have shields. We're just gonna walk around normal. We got the right hand for little guys, the left hand for big guys, and then the ones on the shoulders just for like. Messing everybody up. Wu Hua Hai. Gun 3 of the Red Guns, the Balam Group's AC Squad. A born con artist, no scheme was too underhanded for Wu Hua Hai during his days as criminal mastermind. And exploitation of others was a byword for opportunity. However, his illicit Feng Shui pharmacy operation was a fatal overstep. Imperiling the health of Balam's economic sphere and leading to widespread disease. It was Niall, now the deputy commander of the Red Guns, who ultimately shut Wu Hua Hai down. But he's got three OS chips in his pocket. We're gonna beat him up for him. Let's see the game seems kind of funny. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 22, entering rank D. Subject AC, Li Long. Call sign, Gun 3, Wu Hua Hai. Hooray, I was saying it right. <laughs> Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Oh no. Oh god, little baby missiles. Please get down on the ground so I can pop ya. Motherfucker, <laughs> he's dodging everything. Oh my fuck, how can you dodge that? AP at thirty percent. Oh I know. Ah fuck. Oh. 
on, dude. Land. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at flying around. Target destroyed. What the fuck? Including evaluation. Well done. Oh my god, I forgot about that last chance thing I got. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, just barely won that. I thought I died for real. <laughs> All right, that's good. Good start to the day. <laughs> Li Long, Hua Hua, Hua Hei. It looks like a dragon and a fish and some water. That's the water, that's the fish, that's the dragon. Very good, very good. They can farm him for money afterwards. If you had an easy enough time, which I did not. Ring Freddy, a warrior of the Rubicon Liberation Front. Paramore and personal attendant to Dolmayan, Freddy maintains an aloof distance from his fellow comrades. At the power of the inner world of Dolmayan's mind, he entered the battlefield so that the father of the Liberation Front would never need to be alone. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 21. Fuck, they're all tanks. Subject AC, Candle Ring. Call sign, Ring Freddy. Commencing evaluation. That's kind of cool, I don't know why. The ring, the candle ring picture. I'm taking cover. <laughs> God. Ooh. Oh. Oh god, the end of the map. Fuck, he's fine with it. Oh. Get away from me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 210 each. Target destroyed. I'm like a level B player. Everything's always a well close done. fight. <gasps> They're just dodging the shit out of my big ass missile too. I haven't been able to get a good hit in. <laughs> Just change it. Ah. So I'm just hitting them with one weapon. I could be shooting with two weapons. I do like my missile thing though. I'll keep going with it until like I feel like I need to change. Oh fuck, I didn't read it. No. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 20, rank D. Oh shit, that man's got a sword. Subject AC, reconfig. Call sign V5 Hawkins. Evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Oh! 
No, he dodged my shit. Not to get close to him, but he's going to put his uh, sword. No, it's a tie! I beat him! No, look, he's dead! <laughs> Let me start the program. It's bullshit. Main system. Activating combat mode. Doing so good this time. <laughs> Give me my assembly. Bazooka, you failed me. <laughs> Oh, you can shortfall. God damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Change my generator. Oh, this one's a smidge better. Oh, no, it's not. Still even shortfall. This one, for some reason, is a smidge better. I'll just have less overall dodge. That's okay. Oh shit, he's gotta slow down and change direction and he can't track you. Fuck, man. Okay. <laughs> that went Destroyed. a lot smoother. <laughs> Concluding evaluation. Well done. Turn off my jacks accidentally. I still, I basically stood still too long. <laughs>
But it was fine, it worked out. <laughs> we had enough of an advantage over him with that. Finally beat the guy. <laughs> Arena, give me more of them chips. I Iguazu. Gun five of the red guns. Battle them groups AC squad, a backstreet gambler, Iguazu bet big and lost, and he was forced to undergo experimental fourth gen augmentation surgery to pay back his debtors. In his new life, he quickly began to quarrel with Volta, his oftentimes partner in crime, Iguazu's recalcitrant nature, I guess, was such that one day he even picked a fight with the hero of Jupiter, who retaliated with such fury that Iguazu never quite looked the same afterwards. Ah. Uh -huh. Second. One second. Oh, it's tuning. Do I get anything? Weapon bay? No, 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 no. I have a million things. Probably more good stuff in here. Dynamic deflection control. Just damage mitigation. Don't get to use reproach. Just damage mitigation is probably good. Right hit damage. Drive controlling. And damage mitigation. Got a million chips, so might as well. I got six percent damage mitigation. Saw armor, you have to equip it though. The other one happens by itself. Arena Iguazu, I got more damage mitigation. You know, just use the chips as you get them, make the future fights easier. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, Ember 19, Rank D. Look at all these different weapons. He thinks he's ready for shit. Subject AC, Headbringer. Call like sign, Gun 5, Iguazu. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. I have the high ground, you fucked up, kid. Oh! Oh, I guess my guns are reheated. Fuck, why the hell the fuck? That fight was extra easy. Concluding evaluation. More than half my life left. Verified. Beat the crap out of this dude. And we got his little ant thing. More arena. The last guy we gotta beat. Roku Monson, a wandering independent mercenary who shelters with the Rubicon Liberation Front. Well versed in long lost classical theater, he has a particular interest in ninjas and kabuki, relics of the past that he learned of from the Japanese immigrant culture, which now heavily influences his eccentric lifestyle. He's a weeb! Once when Roku Monson was on the brink of starvation, he was rescued by Z, who offered him food and shelter. Ever since that day, he has been the sworn enemy of those who would do her and her comrades harm. But he's got a sword. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Yo. Program Number 18, Rank D, Final Evaluation. 
Subject AC, Shinobi. Call sign, Roku Monsen. He had extra guns in his pockets. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Ooh, why are you holding still? Oh, okay. Did hold still for a good while at the start, so that destroyed. that gave me a big lead this on him. This little fella. We didn't really get to see him do anything. <laughs> Alright. The last three fights were actually easy. First ones were way harder. I had like one HP or two hundred HP left on them. Incoming calls. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank D. Thank you. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All Might exists for all mercenaries. I mean, usually the bosses are like really big and chunky so you can use a missile launcher on them but like the little guys are just so wascally dodge everything all right that's the end of that video we beat the arena let's look at what we can buy oh it's puny boost kick i don't want to boost kick on people Oh, what is this? Be able to use instead of my missiles, I can just carry around extra weapons. I don't need the shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. But I really like my missiles. I like my main damage, I think. They almost never miss. They go vertical, you know, they always hit the guy. Mm hmm. I like my missiles. Manual aiming. Allows for manual reticle control, but practical usage calls for experience technique. Assault armor, this is the one you gotta... Oh, what the fuck? So terminal armor. This is the one that just keeps me alive for like 10 extra seconds for that last hit. It does work. It saved me once. On the even in the arena just now. But this one, you can keep using it. Like additional charges of pulse armor. Get a lot of shields until it wears out. It's pulse explosion it cancels out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. But you only get like what three charges on that guy you can get? So you get like three of those big pulse things the guys have been using on me. Or you just get reduced armor that you can use like twice. Pulse protection. Pulse barrier in a fixed position providing cover from enemy fire until the barrier reaches their ability limit. 
Unless I can just sit there and, and shoot from inside my little bubble. And you get three uses of it. Uh, I think, is that new? I don't know. I don't remember seeing it before. Kinetic weapons, firing control. I think I got laser weapons right now. Energy damage. Put up my energy damage. I do kind of want to do that. Oh, or just damage mitigation. Just give myself 50% more health. That's pretty good. I think that matters more than like a little bit more damage. Staying alive. I do not have the pennies for this. Energy weapons. I do like my shoulder things. And then I can... Well, it's only 3%. I could save for this or I can get that. I think I'm going to save for damage. Yeah. Damage mitigation. Alright. So we're saving for that. And then that is the end of the arena videos we beat the arena you know up to rank the good fights good fights